a magical day to you. It's your YYC Angel Intuitive Julie Robinson with your weekly oracle card reading for the week of January the 8th through to the 15th. I'm using Kyle Gray's Angel Prayer Cards and I'm going to be using them a lot for the new year because it's a number one year uh, in numerology which is all about manifestation and intention. And these cards are excellent prayers that will help you to sharpen your intention. So we're going to shuffle some cards for the beginning, middle, and end of the week. And please know that my prayers are with all of you as we go through world changes, political changes, and energy changes. And please know that the angels are here and are all around all of us accessible anytime. And this deck is a great way to start to access the angels help on a greater scale. Beautiful. So the first card I pulled for you is an amazing card. I know the artwork on here is phenomenal. It's the spirit animal for Monday and Tuesday. And it says, thank you, animal kingdom, for blessing my path with love. And I can hear Archangel Raphael and Ariel in my ear right now say, it's not just the spirit animals. They said many of you have lost a pet, a pet on the other side. You can also you know, call on those animals to work with you and bring you blessings, as well as if you have pets that you're already with, they're going to bring you a lot of love and magic energy. There's a real emphasis on the word magic. You know, if your spirits need to be raised, an animal is a great way. Now, many of us have what's called a spirit animal, which is the spirit of an animal that may have been with you since birth or from other lifetimes that accompanies your travels. Um, I've been told that I have a deer <laughs> near me. I know sometimes I look like a deer in headlights, um, but you know, everybody has a spirit animal and you can find that out in a private angel reading or just tune in and ask your angels. So a spirit animal is featured Monday through uh, Tuesday and Wednesday and tuning into that energy to give you strength. Beautiful card there. And then we'll flip from the next top of the deck into Wednesday and Thursday. And it says, don't hate, meditate. There's a lot of negative energy in the world, including hate towards political figures, between rappers, <clears throat> um, you know, even towards, uh, you know, uh, musical performers. And it creates a negative energy vibration into the world, which we don't need, right? We need love, we need peace, and we need harmony. And meditation is a beautiful way to facilitate that state of peace within you. Even just a couple minutes a day or just focusing on your breath while you're participating in activity counts as meditation. So if you hate meditating, just be one with whatever you're doing. Take deep breaths. Archangel Raphael's interrupting me. I can hear him like knocking on my door saying, you have to explain, Julie, what do you mean by meditating? All right, let me put down this beautiful card and explain. So honestly, a lot of my angel heart practitioner students know this. Five minutes every day of just being with your breath and being okay with wherever you are. So if you can, if you have no injuries, sit in cross-legged position, close your eyes for five minutes in the morning. It's my abs ball, <laughs> if you want to know what that noise is. And just be with your breath. Be with your thoughts and be with your mood without wanting them to be different than the way that they are and without trying to change them on your own behalf. So it's sort of like being one until you reach a place of stillness. And it's a really healthy thing to do. Now, most people do it in the morning. The angels are prompting me to let you know that it's okay to do in the evening too. And even twice a day is better because you'll have a better sleep. So in the middle of the week, if the waves start turning inside of you or in your world, in your situations, meditate is a great solution. All right, let's look at the end of the week. Pulling again from the top of the card. When you're shuffling, always pull from the top. Oh, I love this card, Earth Angel. Now, I haven't talked a lot about the prayers so far, but they're prompting me to do so now. It says, thank you, angels, for inspiring me to be more like you. And yes, angels, what are some qualities of angels we can think of right now? Number one, they're loving. You know, if you want to be more like an angel, put and focus your intentions, the energy of your intentions, infuse them with love. 
that warm energy inside your heart chakra that is free of judgment, that is just this warm feeling. You know, before you go meet with a girlfriend for coffee, before you go to work, imagine that you're sending everyone love. Then you'll really be like an angel. You're acting like an earth angel. The second quality of the angels is non-judgmentalism. I mentioned it before. The angels don't have egos. So when they're watching over you, when they're listening to you, when they're listening to your prayers, and when they're helping you, they're not in judgment. Like they will help a prostitute. They will help a drug dealer. They're not going, okay, well, you know, you donated more money to the food bank this year, so we're going to give you more help. No, it doesn't work that way. The angels say that everyone is entitled to help. So no matter what position you are, rich or poor, whether you've lived a very virtuous life or you have a very bad conscience, I can think of a person right now <clears throat> but uh, in the United States, but I won't mention any names or get into politics in this video, but you know who I could potentially mean. The angels will help all of these people. Um, so be non-judgmental. Sorry. Be non-judgmental is another way to be like angels. And the other thing uh, that can help you is to keep your energy high. Angels have a very high vibration energy because of the love that they have, but also because they don't um, they don't need to eat anything. So, but their energy is high because they also don't have toxic food and they're not absorbing negative energy of Earth because they're naturally shielded. And, and they're always clearing themselves. So if you want to be like an earth angel, be loving, um, be non-judgmental, and keep your energy clean. You know, your thoughts, your thoughts play such a huge part in your energy. You cannot have a high vibration energy if you have negative thoughts of I can't, or I don't want to, or it won't work out, or I don't think I should. You know, ask the angels. They, you know, this number, reason number four, if you want to be like an angel, is align your thoughts with those of the angels. If you say, you know, 2017 is my year, I'm going to align with my purpose in life, then ask the angels what do they want you to know about it and then get into agreement with them. Getting into agreement with God and the angels will put you at their level. And the last thing, <laughs> okay, the last thing that will help you to be like an earth angel. I don't know the answer yet, so I'm going to tune in. I've talked about love. Oh my God. I can't believe I didn't think about that. Is to listen. Wow, that almost makes me want to cry. Listen, because they said that we listen so much to you that um, we learn so much about you. And they said if you want to be more like an angel in 2017 and this week, that when you listen, you're acting like an angel because they said that that's mostly all that they do. They just listen to everything and they don't react. Wow. That kind of chokes me up a little bit. Beautiful. Um, always when you shuffle a deck of cards, right? So five things. We talked about love, no judgment, keep your energy high, and, um, and to listen. And um, there was something else. I can't remember. Uh, Whenever you shuffle a deck of cards, the bottom of the card is your exclamation part. And the card says, signs from heaven. And it says, thank you, heaven, for sending me reminders of your presence. So if you're in a low position of your life right now, or you're trying to make a decision and you can't make up your mind, ask heaven for a sign and they will lead you to the answer. You know, ask and you shall receive, Jesus said. I trust that you have gotten the messages that you needed for this week. Please know that you are in my prayers. I'm sending you so much. Angel, love, light, and flight for an amazing week and a great 2017. Book your private reading with me at juliespiritualhealer.com. I don't know why it does a swirl, but anyways, namaste. God bless. Bye-bye.